For example, this is my two-dimensional array, which is two by two featured map. So I'm gonna make it in a one dimension. To do so, I will put all the pixels in a single column. Just connect this to the flatten and then flatten to the fully connected layer. And that's it. As I told you, from here up to here, this whole process is called feature extraction. We extract the features out of the input image. We extract important feature, important feature of the image. We are using kernel trick where we use filter, checking different process like padding, stride, pulling to extract the important feature out of the image, which means to reduce the dimension of the input image. Now, the input image here is 8 by 8. Let's suppose 8 by 8 is a huge image. We want to reduce its dimension. So to do so, we are passing through the feature extraction phase. We extract important feature out of this image. Now at the end, what we got, at the end we got 2 by 2, which means that from 8 by 8, we came all along to 2 by 2. So 2 by 2 dimension is lower than 8 by 8 dimension. Here at the end, we got 2 by 2 featured map, which is the new version, new version of the input image. Input image was 8 by 8. So after feature extractions, at the end, we got 2 by 2 featured map, which is the latest version of the 8 by 8 input image. Now, now this 2 by 2 featured map has all the important features, all the important features of the image. Because in CNN, you may don't want all the features of the image. So you want to extract only the important feature to save your time, to save your memory space, and to save your processing cost. Therefore, we reduce the dimension. Now, it is in a 2D form. It is a 2 by 2 with the two columns and two rows. So it is a two-dimensional array. In mathematical perspective, we can say that it is a two-dimensional array. This 2 by 2 matrix is a two-dimensional array. We want this in a one-dimensional array. To shift it into one-dimensional array, I want all these pixels, all these pixels in a single column here, 34, 58, 65, 76. Put all the pixels here in a single column. It is a one-dimensional array here. It is the step right before the fully connected layer. You must shift this multidimensional array into a one-dimensional array before, before the fully connected layer. Why we do this? Because it is easier for the fully connected layer to receive the information in a one-dimensional array. And that's the reason we need one-dimensional array. We need the information in a one-dimensional array. Now then fit it to the fully connected layer. Onward this is exactly the same thing. Is exactly the same thing what we saw in the NN model. It is a general fully connected layer where all the cells are connected to all the adjacent cells of the opposite layer. Similarly, all the cells are connected to all the adjacent cells of the opposite layer. It is also called the dense layer. Fully connected layer is a dense layer here. Suppose this is my input layer, and this is my hidden layer, this is my output layer. We feed this one dimensional array as an input, as an input here. So this layer is my input, and this is my hidden layer, this is my output layer. It is the same thing what we saw in ANN model. The difference between the CNN and the ANN is this whole, this whole phase, this whole process. In the CNN, we have this thing extra here. We need the feature extraction process in the CNN. In ANN, we don't need this feature extraction process because CNN deals with the image. CNN deals with the image. Because if you remember, CNN was dealing with the text data. So we were feeding text data to the ANN model. But in CNN, we are feeding image data, which was not happening in ANN. And this is the only difference here. You need all these steps to go from higher dimension of the input image to the lower dimension, and then feed it to the normally fully connected layer. The rest of the procedure is exactly the same, which we were doing in the ANN. Like we have weight here and weight here, so tail product of the input times weight and then plus bias. Input times weight plus bias. Input times weight plus bias. Similarly, this one times weight plus bias. If you still don't know how it works, please go back and check the ANN section. We are applying exactly the same logic here in this fully connected layer.